Time to get into the player ratings. We're still here at the King Power Stadium. I've got Mo with me, Truce with me. We haven't got DT today because... Uh, he got kicked off. Huh? He got well, kicked yeah. off after last... His horrific ratings during the week. But um, let's start with uh, Leno in goal. Shotgun. Uh, he that. saved us. <laughs> I want to do Leno because the only one that's going to get a decent, decent rating. I'll give him a nine, man. He's brilliant. Like... Everything he did today, he did really, really well. The, the bounced back player, from the other night, didn't he? Because he was time, terrible yeah, yeah, the other yeah, night, but yeah. he bounced back. Big time. He did make a couple of mistakes, but he was back to his usual self today. And he's been, um, you know, he's been a very good uh, player for us this season and the only shining light today. Saving the first half was his highlight of the match. Okay, what are you giving? Nine. Maitland Niles? Zero. <laughs> Zero. <clears throat> so you're on that yellow card, you don't make them challenges, bro. Do you think, though, he should have been sent off for it, though? Nah, the refs are Do you think he deserved both yellow cards? I don't. I think the first one wasn't a yellow. You understand? But when you're on a yellow and you've got Michael Oliver, the dickhead, as a ref, blood, you need to be careful, innit? You understand? Mm -hmm. He should have been smarter, wiser, inexperienced, but you're getting a zero today, bro. Okay. Um, Mustafi. Uh, Mustafi, uh, I'd give him a, a, a five. You know, no, no one was good today, but Mustafi didn't. He actually, when he went to right back, I think that's probably a better position for him because but he can't cross. He doesn't, he doesn't, but there was one time in the game where he'd done a brilliant run. Yeah. He was, to me, putting... I saw a bit of effort from him today. I yeah, really yeah, I did. did yeah. He was and trying. He was trying. He did, yeah. And also, um, you know, he's been accused of being a bit too rash you yeah. know, in the past. And today, he stood up a little bit more. To me, the only thing that he did today that frustrated people was when he uh, you know, won a header against Torreira mm. at one point. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, he was actually fine. I know people like to give him stick, but he was fine today. I'll give him yeah. a five. Um, Socrates. Three. I think he was all over the place today. I think he was very rash. He wasn't his calm self. Like, you know, he's normally... Well, the, the final goal was the, yeah, the, the Vardy like, one. I mean, like, he even uh, stood a second goal, sorry. Line, blood. When, when he stood on the line, bro. He stood on the line. What the fuck are you doing? Two furthermore. Two. Two, two blood. <laughs> okay. I'm not a mole fan with this fire business. Now, nah, fuck them. All right. Two. Um... Kolasinac. Didn't offer enough going forward and, and I felt like he, he, he didn't um, get tight enough on his man either. So I'd give him a three. Just, yeah, poor. Um, Xhaka. Three. Two. Two. Yeah, two. We'll go with two. <laughs> Non-existent in the midfield. The amount of times Madison ran behind him and he never had a fucking clue. But I was absolutely a fucking joke, fam. You understand? Like, Torreira was just as bad for me, but he put in a lot of fight. You understand? He, like, you understand? Torreira fights, isn't it? Jack was just a donkey in the midfield, fam. Two. Um, Torreira. It's tough, you know, like in terms of performance, no one really played very well today, but in terms of heart and effort, and also it's very, very difficult to show that heart and effort for 90 minutes when no one else around you is doing that. That takes something like from within. So like, I think performance wise, I give him a six, but because of that, I'm going to upgrade it to a seven because that's so difficult to do. Usually you get deflated when you look around you and no one's matching your intensity. But because of that alone, I'm going to give him a seven because he actually tried, man. Okay. Mikatirin. Did he play? <laughs> he played. Did he play? Mm. Raw. Zero. Didn't even see him, bruv. You understand? Non-existent again, bruv. That guy's a joke, bruv. You understand? We're here ripping dog shagger blood. We got dog shagger Mark II, fam. You understand? Another one needs to be sold in summer. Okay. Um, Iwobi. Oh, I don't know, man. He was other than the strikers play up front. Iwobi was the only other person that actually gave us any attacking threat. Mkhitaryan didn't. I I give him a three. He didn't do enough. There's one time in the game with Iwobi, he should have scored. There was also the one time when he gave the ball away. And he, he just walked. literally yeah. walked yeah. back we the whole. I, I I thought that was unacceptable. Yeah. It didn't surprise me that he was the first one hauled off. I, I didn't I didn't notice that um, him walking back one. But the problem is, you know when um, Abamyang Abamyang laid on that chance to him. He's there, we all know he's going to get a shot off. Who here expected him to score? No one. And I think that says everything we need to know, to be honest with you. That Sterling, you're expecting a goal. Mm. Um, Lacazette. Three. I don't think he did a lot. Never got service, but never did a lot. You understand? Like, 10 may you need, a, you need, a, you need an out ball. You get me? And 
You weren't really at our ball today, innit? Three for Lacan. Abamian. For me, Lacazette was better than Abamian. But um, I'd, I'd have to give Abamian a two, yeah. Because, you know, if, if he's giving Lacazette a three, then Abamian's got to be a two. Lacazette had a harder job because he was on Maguire. And I thought he did quite well, given that, you know, Maguire's up against him. Why are but we lumping balls up to? Yeah, We're lumping well. balls up to, um, to, to both of our strikers and they've got Maguire and Evans and there. And also what we're not doing then is saying uh, urgency on that second ball because you know we're not going to win it, but where's yeah. the urgency to get the second ball? The thing that annoyed me about Lacazette, uh, sorry, Aubameyang today, how did Johnny Evans outpace him? And, it, you know, this is what I want to see from our players. When he was running down that line and Johnny Evans was the favourite to go and get the ball, at least go and leave something on him. And in my interview, I mentioned Ian Wright. Ian Wright would have at least put a shoulder into him. You know what you can get away without getting a yellow card. Go and do that. Go and get a bit of a nasty streak. Go and show your frustration. You, I mean, not just for the sake of it, but you should be feeling that hurt when you're getting embarrassed. And I didn't see any of that from, like, uh, from Aubameyang today. So, it's unacceptable, man. Okay, um, substitutes. Koscielny. Seven. I think when he come on, he done well. I think he, I think. Seven? Oh, where, yeah, where was, there was, there was, where was he for that Vardy goal though as well? Right. When, he, when he around? Seven. I give seven? I, give, Are I, you... I, I, think he, I think when he came on, he, me, he was clearing up a lot at the back. You understand? He was winning balls. He was coming forward. Seven? Was You're deaf? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you've been no. drinking or something, yeah, man. man. Nah, I seven. I, I smoke my seven. I, I, smoke I my mean, because yet, no, so. be, I, I, just, I just don't understand it. How he can get seven? He was the best defender for me. He was involved in that Vardy goal as well. He's yeah. the one. Well, he was the one. The ball I got kicked. Is, no. no, he completely missed yeah, it. Because <laughs> Shelby completely. Because Shelby put his foot up and he. Maitland got sent off, blood. You understand? Put us down to ten men, blood. Seven. You put us on the back foot in it. He has to get a straight zero, blood. Man, I recognising that I'm giving, I'm giving players that I'm cool with low scores. Yeah, you understand? I'm fair. You're sticking it. with yeah. seven. I'm sticking with seven for Kashoni. Okay. You want to chat? If you ever hit the I, 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 I don't. From where I was sitting, you get me. You, you, I think, I think you had a pillar in front of you. You couldn't see him. Right. And Gwenduzi. Oh God. The first thing I don't, I don't understand. You know, I was going to say I don't understand why you're bringing Guendouzi on in the first place. When you look at our bench, this is what I was saying before the game today. We had no plan B. But look, Guendouzi, he was just average. I give him a five. You know, okay. didn't didn't change the game, but didn't really do anything too much wrong. Eddie in Keta. Seven, eight, eight forevermore. Eight for yeah, what? Blah, because he came on and ran. Oh, he didn't touch the he ball. He came on and ran. Yeah, I never saw no running. He got himself a corner. He got himself a free kick. He uh -huh. was running. Effort. Yeah, eight for me, blood. Simple, simple as fam. You understand? So he's your man in the Every... match. Nah, Leno's my man in the match. Okay. He gave Leno a nine, didn't it? Oh. Um, fans today. I thought we were brilliant. I mean, honestly, I really thought we were brilliant. And it was from the off. We weren't waiting for anything. From the off. Honestly, at times we were louder than that Leicester crowd. And I, I just thought Arsenal fans are absolutely brilliant away from home. Been let down all season, haven't we? We really have, and that's what I was going to say to you. We shouldn't even be turning up the, the performances yeah, that have been put in by these guys. That away support today from us guys is what you'd expect of like a Liverpool away support, or a Man City away support that, are, that should be buzzing because they've got a chance of doing something. This, we're being let down week after week after week, and we come up in numbers and we sing our hearts out. So we were brilliant today. We're the man of the match. You really upset that Leicester fan when you said that, <laughs> that you were singing louder. That we were singing that. louder. Than Leicester. He's just shaking his head. He's it's like, very <laughs> easy. It's very easy to th sing when you're like three 0 up against Arsenal, and we've been giving you a bit of stick. It's very easy then. But when you're getting battered away at Wolves, when you're getting battered away at Leicester, and you do what we do, that is true, true away support. And we were brilliant today. Okay. Um, Emery. <sighs> the players he picked, yeah. Apart from Mustafi, it's probably the one, the one man I probably wanted to put in that 11. You understand? I think the players are letting him down. Because he's doing what we want. He's playing the players that we want. He put in Xhaka again. He put in Torreira. As a guy Lacar, said earlier, he put right? In like, you can't, like, you understand? He sets out the team. He's giving them a, um, a, a game plan. And you understand? These men cannot execute the game plan. As a guy said to me earlier on, is it any better than Wenger away from home? Yeah, but let's be real. Half of the team is still Wenger's team, isn't it? Hold on. So, is, it, is he improved? Me. You just said he's improved. He has it, improved us because we won more Away games. from home. We away more, from home. Have we won more games than last year? So we've improved, isn't it? Is it? You think it's better away from home this have year? Have we won more games than last year? I don't even know no Yeah, more. we have. We have? Yeah, we have. <laughs> away from home? Yes, away from home. We've already, yeah. we've, we're already above our points tally last year. We're in a higher position than last year. Away? 
Bruv, we've won more games than we won last year away from home already, blood. And okay. there's still one more which we're going to lose anyway. So what are you giving him? <laughs> He, 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 he picked the right team for me, innit? But they let him down, so five. Riff. Both oh, yeah. of you. Go on, now, Trubes, you go for it. You go for it. I, I, you know what? Let me, let me say this. Let me say this. I don't like talking about refs. It's not the ref's fault we lost today. That's all I've got to say on it. Blaming the ref for the result. I, know, I get that. But I what do you that. give? I thought I that. that. What, what this, do you give this, the ref? Listen, what I, what I want to say is that I, do, I hate it when Arsenal fans, when, when, when no our team blaming rubbish, it, you're right. What and do you then, give we, then we make the ref the focus. It's down to the players, but yeah, the ref was absolutely rubbish today. The way he gave Mate and Niles two yellow cards for two fouls and lets Chilwell get away with it. The constant free kicks he was giving, yeah, non-stop. Yeah, the ref was a joke. The, the ref... He was chopping everything, blood. I was waiting for Mr Miyagi to come out and be like, Daniel son. You understand? Because I said to myself, I... He looked all right though, that Chowdhury brother. He looked good, but he, he, got good. A he was allowed to he, he get away with everything. Away yeah, with I agree with him. Michael Oliver is um, a incompetent prick. You understand? And I hope your wife cheats on you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you giving him? Minus 100 and Bumba Clark zero. <laughs> I don't do even know if that's a fucking number, blood. <laughs> what do you give him? Look, I'm obviously a bit more balanced than the troops, all right? No but listen, it's not like he uh, gave him like stupid penalties. Or You've seen worse refs, but he was just rubbish no, in terms of his general penalty. management of the game. A penalty. No, no, Torreira, Torreira, Evans elbowed him, yeah? The interesting thing about that is the way the Leicester players reacted, they really, really thought he had dived. Yeah, they really thought he had dived. But to me, I agree, it looked like a pen. But you can't expect the ref to see everything, especially in a crowded box. I'll give the ref a two. But the Lino as well, let's give him a goddamn rating. The Lino was rubbish as well. I, All thought, of the I, I have to say, I agree with Mo. I don't like to blame the officials at all. But he was shocking. The referee changed the game today. Yep. I, with, with, when, when you, when you, everybody knows in games, referees, they allow that sort of first sort of half yeah, tackle. Yeah, yeah. He was just straight, but he but didn't. Did you but you know what? I don't mind it if it's fair all round. Yeah. But I agree with you, yeah. Chowdhury, who, I've, who I said earlier, I thought was a great player, really good prospect that kid. But he was allowed to get away with everything, and, and you ca and chill well, and the whole of the team. And I don't think you you got to be balanced. Roll on VAR. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> Although that yeah, might even make it worse for some of these refs. So those are the player ratings. What can I say? I I, I don't even know if I care about the result later on. I think it's all about just going for it in the Europa League now. Got to win the Europa League, simple.